Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Chris Chris Han. My Instagram is Chris Han XOXL. If you've been following me on Instagram or TikTok, uh, you may notice that I have quite a collection of designer handbags. So as a fashion lifestyle creator, I always feel like I need to get the newest and the greatest um, designer handbags just to be you know, relevant and also to get inspired by the latest designs. And I think this is part of what I do and it's definitely the trend and handbags are always like one of the biggest like best investments for your wardrobe. But these days I think consignment stores like re-commerce websites are like a better solution for me because of the inflation globally like everything is becoming like more expensive and also the sustainability concerns for fashion you know we don't have to always consume like new things to create a new look every day so overall i think the concept of fashion luxury consignment just you know fits my lifestyle fits what i need so what happened to me and before the holidays i had a wish list for a couple of handbags and i did my research online and i found all the styles from one particular website called fashion file and they do have like a large collection large catalog of designer handbags i mean the top ultra luxury ones and i feel like their prices are like a lot better than other consignment stores and i also saw some tiktok videos like the top fashion influencers on tiktok talked about fashion file that's when i discovered this website and started shopping their products so this time i ordered three handbags from fashion file i think these brands are the top brands like ultra luxury brands for handbags and fashion they are chanel lms and a Louis Vuitton. Let's take a look. All right, so this is the package and I already opened it. It's pretty chunky uh, because one of the handbags came with its original box. So that's why it's so big. Now let's unbox all the three handbags. Maybe we should do from the least expensive to the most expensive. Just, you know, save the best for the last. I have the first handbag in my hand. I think it's nicely wrapped with the duster bag. And also the sticker says used is the new new. I actually had a couple handbags of the same collection, but I didn't have the exactly same style. So I was super excited. Let's see what's in here. I just don't want to ruin the paper wrap. All right, so it came with the fashion file dust bag. It still feels very luxury and also open. Okay, as you can see, is a mini speedy it has a tag from fashion file it says certificate of authenticity it's louis vuitton monogram mini sack hl speedy it's inspected by their team so this is like a certificate um, from fashion file so for this handbag i feel like it's very very new so this handbag has been on my wish list for a while i saw a lot of fashion influencers using this mini speedy and it's super cool it just adds a slight touch of luxury to your outfit this is like a perfect addition to anyone's wardrobe so for mini speedy i do have a story because i've been looking for this handbag for a while and one of my best friends text me saying she found a good handbag um saying this handbag is like listed on whatever website and it's only 500 dollars. and it says it's new it came with the original stickers and the packages and everything and i feel like it's not possible because this handbag is like so popular in 2022 and a lot of creators a lot of girls are looking for one if it's like a decent condition if it's real this one should be over 1500 it's like a brand new condition for like less than 2000 um on fashion file it's like a steal so mini speedy in my opinion is a very very cute bag if it's like different styles of outfits and you will have like a lot of opportunity to actually carry this handbag because it's still a speedy you can still put your cell phone in it maybe just lipstick your keys um and a small wallet so this is still a good everyday handbag if you don't have a whole bunch of stuff with you i don't have a lot of handbags from louis vuitton i only have like a couple but most of them are in this print this classic monogram 
This is under $2,000 and I think it's still a deal because it's such a popular style. It's really, really hard to get. So technically you can get the same handbag um, of the same price, but you can find a lot of other deals of different conditions of the same style on Fashion File. They do have like new jobs almost like every week. Um, you just need to do a little bit of research or maybe you can save a couple handbags and track their prices and see how it goes. So this first handbag is already like very, very impressive and I like what I got actually. I think this handbag is newer than thought. There is no sign of use at all. Um, what do you think? Do you like this style or not? Do you think it's a deal or not? Now let's move on to the second handbag. And this handbag, um, I think it also used the dust bag from Fashion File. It doesn't come with the original dust bag. And uh, it feels weightier, much weightier than the first handbag because of the leather or the hardware. Now let's take a look. So I also do the same. Oh, it's already open. Okay. Wow, look at this. <laughs> it's a beautiful Chanel bag. So it has like a large CC logo and it's gold trimmed. And you have like the very classic silhouette and the size is I think about 20. Um, so it's cuff ski mini chin me flap. This handbag is one of my favorites from Fashion File. It's classic, you get a classic silhouette. It doesn't have like the double flap, but um, it feels very luxury because of the gold hardware. Because I already have a couple classic flaps in different styles, different colors. So I think this will be a great addition to my collection. And I like how this logo looks like. It doesn't have like a CC lock in it. So it's just like a complete Chanel logo in the middle of it. So this is magnetic closure like this. And also you have the gold chin. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. It's very soft. This is calf skin. So it just gives you like a little more space in here. I think you can fit probably the same amount of items with the first mini speedy. So for Chanel handbags, I do have a couple classic flaps already, but they are becoming like more and more expensive every year. It's just, you know, it doesn't make sense to me anymore. So if you like the flap style, you may want to look into the seasonal styles um, because they are more affordable. You get more value out of it. Is this very good or excellent? I think this one is very good, but you don't see like a lot of scratches or discoloration or sign of use. It still looks like pre-owned, not like brand new, but it just doesn't feel like so worn. You know what I mean? This may be something for someone, but it's definitely my style. Last but not least, we are going to open this handbag, this big one, big box in the package, which is a handbag from Hermes. Um, as an Hermes handbag, I think this one is not like the tier one, like most popular styles, but according to a lot of fashion influencers on TikTok and Instagram, this handbag will be the next it bag of Hermes in the next year. So here is like a little story of my own Hermes collection. I have four Hermes handbags right now and I own the five. I sold one. So I have my first Hermes handbag. I think I got it back in 2011. It was a gift from my parents. It's a purple gypsy, I think 30, and it's like a cross body and it didn't really fit my personal style back then. And I didn't really like appreciate the craftsmanship of this brand. In a couple years, I didn't get to wear it. So I sold that handbag to a local consignment store and I inherited my second Hermes bag from my mom. She passed away um, a few years ago. She left me with a Birkin 25 Togo um, black leather silver hardware. She really liked to use this handbag. She never closed the bag at all and it's like very, you know, cool utilitarian like everyday 
luxury handbag. It's such like a precious inheritance now. I just keep it as a souvenir in my collection. That's what happened to my second Hermes. These days, it's really hard to get the popular styles from Hermes and we tried it once and at the Beverly Hills stores like just a couple years ago and I am like so tired of playing this Hermes game um, building history with a sales or with a store, you know, it's just I am tired of it. <laughs> now these days with the rise of the pre-owned market, you can easily get the styles than the handbags that you actually want from Hermes like much easier. If your favorite style is not uh, in stock, you may want to build a wish list so that when this um, perfect style, the perfect size, color, leather, you know, just the perfect style you want comes up and you get notified from this platform and you will have to act really fast. So that's how I got my Birkin and Kelly from these websites. It's actually much easier than playing the, you know, purchase history like MS game at the retail store. Without further ado, let's move on to this orange box. Ooh. So I have to remove this paper wrap again. Okay, this is the moment. Alright. Okay, it comes with this fashion file. That's the bag. Alright, here is the bag. Look at this. This is the Picoton Lock 22 and I've been wanting to get a handbag like this in the same color um, of this leather and that's exactly what I wanted. It's like more beautiful than the website photos and so simple and elegant and as you can see it's pretty sizable so this is like a great everyday bag and it's gonna elevate a lot of my um, outfits relatively lightweight as an Hermes handbag this is the definition of classic Hermes I think this is like a tier 2 rare handbags from Hermes if you walk into an Hermes store and ask for this color, this size, this style, and you're probably not gonna get the same. It still makes a whole lot of sense um, by getting a handbag from Fashion File, like consignment website like this. And I am super happy with this handbag. Oh my god, this gold lock, it still has the original like plastic film on it. This looks very, very, very new. And the handle. And the bag, oh my god, this bottom, as you can see, everything is just like so new. Oh my god, this is breathtaking. And let's open this handbag and see how it goes. So, bubble wrap, okay. And in here you have the original accessories, actually this original Hermes duster bag, like this. All right. And also, you have the, I think these are the keys. Ooh, beautiful. And you can open this lock with the keys. I'm gonna do it later. And super exciting. This handbag is just, you know, it's a beauty. And I haven't had any MS handbags in this color and it's like so beautiful in person. It's just so beautiful, so elegant. I think it's like age appropriate for me. When I was 24, 25, I got my first Hermes. I didn't really appreciate um, as much. I knew it was like an ultra luxury handbag that a lot of people wanted, but I just didn't like like that handbag but now I feel like I am at my mid 30s I you know wear more mature in the classic outfits like a lot more than before so a style like this a handbag like this will be perfect for my current personal style you know this price point is actually more accessible so you don't have to spend like over 10k for a handbag which is like a little bit ridiculous i think fashion file does have like a larger collection of um picotin on their website and it comes with like different sizes and i'm a mom i do have like a lot of random stuff for on the go so i picked this size um, because it makes sense to my lifestyle really love this handbag in person so i just can't wait to create 
my outfits using this handbag. I just don't have to worry too much about it because I think the leather is still like very scratch proof like all the other Togo um, Birkin and Kelly that I have. I just love it. What do you think? You can leave a comment down here. Um, but I don't think this handbag will have like a lot of haters. So I opened all three handbags with you today. They are all from Fashion File. Actually, I am very, very happy with this order. Everything looked like a lot newer than I expected. So for pre-owned handbags, pre-owned designer products, I really am looking for something, you know, with decent condition, not like totally worn out. So this is really important. And I think all the handbags are like, as promised, they are authenticated. I'm not an expert of luxury handbag authentication. I have been buying like new handbags from brand stores. So I can smell, I can, you know, feel the quality of these handbags. So I don't think they have any issue with that. I would probably buy more from this website. So overall, I think I really appreciate the good value of their products. Their like extensive catalog of um, designer luxury like handbags. I see a lot of things that I would actually buy and actually wear. Maybe after a year or two, like you don't wear some particular styles anymore, you can reconsign the same products from Fashion File uh, through their website and you can get a big part of your money back through the reconsignment and keep your luxury goods, your luxury products in this cycle of fashion consumption. And of course, shopping pre-owned handbags like this, you can save a lot. Um, usually like 20% to 50% of retail, depending on the condition and the styles you pick. And also if you are looking for a particular handbag that's not in production anymore, like vintage Chanel, these kind of like rare handbags, you probably can find good deals on Fashion File. I can enjoy more styles with the same amount of money I put in my wardrobe. Before you start purchasing from consignment stores or like e-commerce websites, just make sure that you do your research. Don't buy from anyone or any platforms that you like never heard of. Um, buy from reputable brands, reputable platforms. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun as much as I did. So happy with Fashion File, highly recommend it. I have a list of handbags, you know, similar to what I got from Fashion File and also a wish list for 2023, like trend prediction and also a list of classics. So you can explore the designer handbags from their catalog like a little bit more. It's already the end of December and I think this is the last video of this year. I wish you a very happy new year. Thank you for all the support in the last year and I will see you in the next one. Bye.